All right, here I am back in Eclipse. I want to mess around with some variables some more. This time I'm going to do some math operations on them. So let me make myself an integer. Um, let's call it num. That's original. Let's give this guy a starting value of 0. So the first thing that I can do with a numeric variable is I can do addition and add stuff to it. What I can do is say, take whatever your value already is, that's what this one represents, and add to it some amount. So let's say we're going to add 10 to it. So let's see what happens. If I print here, num, so that's the original value, and I print here, again, after we do this addition, then we would expect it to change to 10. Let's see if that is amazingly what's going to happen. Yes, it is. 0, and then it's 10 when I added to it. There's a shortcut way of writing this, so I don't have to repeat this little thing again, and it looks like this. I can say plus equals 10. It does the exact same thing. Let's verify. Run as Java application. Okay. 0 and 10. Same exact thing. Shorthand. Okay. If I were to have another variable, let's call this num2. Let's set this guy equal to 5. I could add on to num whatever's in num2. Magical. Let's see what happens. Run as Java application. Okay. 0 and 5. So if I started with 0 and this guy had a 5 and I added this guy onto the first one, now a 5 is in here. So when I print it, the 5 comes out. Totally mind-blowing, I know. All right. What else we got? We can subtract from it. So let's start with this guy again. Let's say, okay, I want to subtract off 250. Are we going to get negative 250 as expected? Yes, we are. And the shorthand for this also is the same exact thing. So it's minus equals. And that guy will do the exact same thing as if I wrote it out um, the full line. Okay, I can do multiplication. Let's see what happens if I multiply by that. Let's see. Run as job application. Okay, not exciting because zero times anything is zero. Let's make this guy more exciting. Three. We'll start it at three. What happens when I multiply by 250? Oh, we get 750. And this is, again, the same as writing this. Do, do, do. Same exact thing. Okay. I can do division. Let's go ahead and divide by beep, 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 something. Let's make this guy a 10. Let's divide it by 5. Hopefully, we'll get it changed to 2. Let's see. 10 and 2. Yes, indeed. And then we have this other mysterious thing. It's called the modulus. It looks like this. It looks like a percent sign. And what it actually does is it takes the remainder of the division problem, 10 divided by 5. Only this guy means instead of giving me the answer, give me the remainder. Let's see what happens when this runs. All right. Okay, 10 is evenly divisible by 5, so I get a remainder of 0. Let's try a number that's not evenly divisible by. So 10 mod 4. We've got a remainder of 2 because 4 goes into 10 twice, and there's 2 left over. So modulus will give you the remainder.